Hey, how's it going, folks? I'm Josh. This Taylor. is Taylor. All right. <laughs> she got <it> that time. <laughs> <laughs> so whack. Um, <laughs> this is a recommendation from Josiah in the comments. It's Doug Stanhope Liberty. So we're going to check this out. Let's hop right into this thing. The government should have no place in your love life. That should not... If you want to get married, it should be like joining a fraternity where you... You, know, you want to get married? You go to your church or your Chuck E. Cheese and they do a <laughs> crazy rain dance around you and it's some incantation and puff them if you're a married person. It doesn't mean anything. If it, well, what about tax breaks? Well, fine. If you want tax breaks, incorporate, right? The government should only look at you as an individual no matter what, right? What if you're a fucking idiot and you're ugly? It's like the carpool lane. You can't find someone to marry. It's discrimination. <laughs> <laughs> Institution. It shouldn't exist. If marriage didn't exist, would you invent it? Would you go, baby, this shit we got together, it's so good, we're gonna get the government in on this shit. We, <laughs> we need judges and lawyers involved in this shit, baby. It's hot. <laughs> but someone invented it. And now you're gonna do it or you're an asshole. <laughs> Secretary's Day. Yeah, every day was fine when you shuffled in an office till someone said, "Oh, it's Secretary's Day." You're now you're a dick if you don't bring her flowers. <laughs> someone invented marriage, and now you're a dick if you don't marry her. And I'm a dick if I don't show up. And it's a boring, ego maniacal ritual that no one wants to go to. Don't ever for a second think that someone wants to be at your wedding. <laughs> it's a boring, horrifying experience. I swear to God, this week. I like know. You're watching someone make out on a bus for six hours. <laughs> nice and clothes and show up, bring presents and tell witty anecdotes and I, I watch you, my friend up there, going, you know, I'm gonna tell you what love and commitment mean to me. Because the first time I saw Laura Ann, my heart swelled up like a fire. If I'm gonna be that privy to your most intimate details, I'd rather just watch you fuck. Watch you fuck with a miner's cap and get in there and see all the fucking boils and fucking heat bumps and yeah. Gross. It's a, it's a trick argument. There's so many... Uh, Pledge of Allegiance is in the Supreme Court. And that's another trick argument. Under God should be in the Pledge of Allegiance. No, it shouldn't. We don't need a Pledge of Allegiance. Say that. Why, why do you need that brainwashing cult shit? If you have a good product, kids will figure it out on their own. You don't need to advertise. Twelve years of forced advertising. Right? You've done drugs in here by applause, right? At some point. Did you have a good time? <laughs> Did you ever see him advertised? <laughs> Didn't need to. You get a good product, people come around. You don't need that. <laughs> you have to have one of God in there because the founding fathers based this country on the principles of Christianity. You want to worry about the Pledge of Allegiance? Worry about the under, not the under God part. Worry about the liberty and justice for all. Talk to him in two years and see see what justice is all about. <laughs> Liberty, liberty, the, the meaning of liberty, the, the dictionary definition, liberty means freedom from government restriction and control. Not only do we not have liberty, who has less liberty than the children you make say this? That's the irony. They get the least liberty of anyone. We don't have it. They, got, they, they can't do shit. We have the oldest children in the world in this country. We don't let them do shit forever. You, you can't do shit. They can't drink, they can't smoke, they can't drive, they can't vote, they can't work, they can't fuck for God's sake. So you wonder why your teenager is such an asshole, you wonder why he's sitting in a Taco Bell parking lot after the Friday night high school football game, he's keying cars and he's smearing dog shit on your door handles for no particular reason, it's because he's bored out of his tit, you won't do, let him do anything else. You watch on the news, you see a 10-year-old kid in a third world country, he's got an AK-47 and a death stare looking right into the camera. That kid's not out spray painting overpasses on Saturday night. <laughs> he's got shit to do. <laughs> you 
learn by fucking up, and it takes you until you fucked up a bunch of times to learn. There's no magic number. You want to fix the Pledge of Allegiance, put a disclaimer at the end. With liberty and justice for all. Must be 18, void where prohibited, some restrictions <laughs> 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 